So this week is week two of my remote class where I'm teaching synchronous a couple of times a week and then they're working on their activities and homework and whatnot outside of class. So I just wanted to give you an update um, after my complete boondoggle of a class yesterday and give you some hope and reassurance that if this happened to you, as I've talked to many people, <laughs> just commiserating and like, oh yeah, had the same thing happen. Um, technology makes everything take longer and teaching remotely, everything takes longer. So for example, I have this really awesome activity I use with my stat students where we get to see what it feels like to do different kinds of sampling methods that are used. And in the classroom, students actually physically move. I have them, uh, like, I'll group them in different ways and they'll physically move around the room. So it's like, well, how am I gonna do this online? Figured it out, I'm using a Google Sheet and we're, I figured out some workarounds with it, but everything takes longer. And I'm noticing that I am already behind and I can feel that I'm gonna feel this way all the time. So I've just decided that's not a good way to feel about the semester. The goal is to be teaching statistics and then learning statistics. And I'm so when I go in tomorrow and we finish this section, um, I've already done some things to the, the Google Sheet to make it a little bit faster for them. But the goal is I want them talking to each other in breakout rooms. And I almost scrapped that because last time because of how many tech issues I was having. Um, one of the things was I woke up yesterday morning and I have multiple monitors set up and all of my monitors are not working. So I'm in this whole troubleshooting. Is it the monitor? Is it the cord? Is it the docking station? Is it the laptop? You know, what is going on? It took so much time, put me flustered before I started my class. And so it just, <laughs> it was an interesting day to say the least. Um, it kind of just got me off my, off kilter throughout the rest of the day. So I just tried to slow myself down and remember what are we trying to do? And I'm trying to remember what's the, what's the point here? What's the big idea that I'm trying to get across and focus on that instead. While I'm railing on technology, I have already noticed there's some cool things that are really nice. So one thing uh, is that my students, a lot of them don't have other synchronous classes. So a lot of them don't have a class right after mine. Now some of them do, and I told them if they needed to leave, they could. But like the other day, I did not get through all the examples I wanted to. So I'm like, well, I'll just make a recording and post it. I've often done that in face-to-face -face classes. If there's something I really want to go through with them and I want them to hear me explaining it, but I don't have time, I do that. Well, in this case, I was like, hey, if you want to stay on and, and do this problem with me live, we can. The recording will be a little bit longer. If you have to leave, the recording will be there. That was pretty sweet. That was really, really pretty nice. And I noticed that, you know, just being able to say to students, well, go watch the recording if there's something that you missed. That is really convenient to have. So I can already see there's going to be some things that are going to be nice about this. Plus, one of the things that was really cool with a statistics activity I was doing yesterday is we got to actually process through some of the data and we've got to continue to do that tomorrow, but on this Google Sheet and they're getting to see some of the stuff that I kind of do usually in a face-to-face -face class, I kind of do it on my own and I bring back the data and I do things with them. They don't get to see me dealing with the messiness of data because usually we're just we're working together on the activity and I'm trying to make sure we get through everything. So I just have them working on the things that are really important. But in this case, they we're working on processing the data together. They're all the computers. I've got it pulled up and they get to see some of the issues that I typically deal with on my own. And to me, that's a learning moment. There are things that they're getting to experience that normally I don't with my statistics students, but for all of the technical difficulties, there is a bright side. And one of the things I told myself was that worst case scenario, I email them and tell them I will be posting a lecture at another time once I get my technology working. I knew there was a workaround. I knew there was a way to keep going. So keep that in mind as you're going about this week. And if you're thinking, oh my gosh, you know, is it always going to be like this? It's going to be challenging. And so one of the things I'm thinking about is what can go, what is not absolutely essential um, that because we have some extra things in our course that are not bound by the articulation agreement. So there are some things that I could cut and I'm already thinking, what am I going to need to do? Because everything is taking a little bit longer. I guess the theme of this week is roll with it as and anything I'm telling you, I'm telling myself so that when I go into the next class period and I'm telling my students, you got to roll with it because uh, whenever we're relying on technology, we're in its hands and it doesn't always behave nicely. Have a great week.